me. First of all, I do apologize with the lighting. I did a, the best I can to make sure that, like, right now you see, like, light around my head. But uh, do apologize for that. Squeaky chair. Um, this is going to be a recap video for uh, the two signings that I went to. Uh, first one being Booker T, which happened on the 16th of uh, March. And then a week after, I went over to meet Tommy Dreamer. Uh, both uh, Dane Live videos has been uploaded, so you guys can check that out. Go in the description box below, or go on my channel and find out those videos. Uh, the Tommy Dreamer is in the highlights video for AWF Wrestle Dream. Featuring Tommy Dreamer, and then of course I did a day in life video for uh, uh, Booker T. Uh, at the signing, Booker T was supposed to start on a uh, Saturday, but uh, Booker's uh, travel has been delayed, and they pushed it back to the 16th on the Sunday. So uh, with that being said, not only it was pushed back to a Sunday, but the time as well it wasn't uh, a 3 o'clock signing or 2 o'clock. This was actually a six o'clock, so past shopping hours. Um, all you know, it's it's very weird to basically have a signing where all the shopping, all the shopping's done. Shops are closed, all the the roller doors are down, and everything. Very new to me because I've never had anything like that. It's always started around about two o'clock, three o'clock, three thirty, around about that time. But so uh, it was very very late signing. Um, got there around about eleven. Uh, I didn't feel the need to be there early. I understand if it was like a 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock signing where I'd be there 9 o'clock, but I thought 11 was fine. And and Tracy, Jaden, and Scott were there like early, so they managed to be like the second group there. Um, so I'm going to show you what got signed. It was a very, overall, a very, very rushed event. Um... I think this would probably be the most rushed event that, or signing I've ever been to. I mean, heck, airports don't even go that fast, literally. They try to fit, I think it was three people in one table for one wrestler. That's how rushed, you know. Like, I, I know the Shield signing where there's three guys on the table. You, see, you send three up one at a time. And so that way, you know, keep the line moving, you know, one by one. Uh, but this one was just ridiculous. And I understand that it was a 6 o'clock signing. But yeah, I, I didn't have any time to talk to Booker or ask him a question. And that's a sucky thing as well. Because you end up coming up with some questions that you want to ask him. And then you don't end up asking them. Which sucked. But what can you do? So anyway, got up to the stage and uh, the chick asked me, um, she said, uh, what items are you going to get signed? I had my items, you see here, you guys would have seen what I got signed in the day in life video. I had them like this. It's a dog right there. Uh, he's angry. Um, I said figure and my two programs. She goes, no, nah, you're only allowed two. She was being generous because it was supposed to be one. I'm like, fine. She goes, okay, figure and uh, program. I'm like, no problem. So go up, give the figure to Booker. And I think this is the first in the line. So I think this is, um, I, I think he's used to signing King Booker. Uh, where I can get it. There you can. There you go. There's me right there. Hey, all going? I'm stacking these on DVDs. That's how bad it is. Um, there you go. King Booker right there, which is pretty cool. And I bought this in America as well. So very, very cheap as well. Then I got him to sign the sec one of the programs, sign it there. I think it's like Booker S or something or Booker five. Don't know. And then I asked him to sign the other program and he says, sure, no problem. I don't know which one because I got the 2011 and 13 program. So I don't know which one, but I really, really wanted to see the look on the chick's face. Just to see that I got the third item signed. Do I care? No, because at the end of the day, I ended up buying my DVD. And for those of you who don't know, it was the... Again, I'm going to remind you, I got the Triple H uh, Die Kingdom Come DVD. I had done a review on it. My very first review in a while. Go on that below. Go on my channel to have a look at it. And yeah, also, 
Before I forget, we got all these bunch of handouts as well. They had this at JB Hi-Fi, so Jaden saw this and I took a few. I actually took three. They had these in uh, like a larger form with, uh, um, what's it freaking, laminated. And uh, I didn't really want to go, hey, can I have one? I've seen people have them, but I couldn't be bothered. And then there was this chick giving out one of these. Of course, that's the promotional poster for this year's tour. Obviously, that's the, yeah, of course, sorry for the glare. You got my Harry Potter books up there. So you obviously get the dates for the tour. So that's a pretty good poster, you know. And then, of course, WrestleMania right behind it. WrestleMania 30, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Also, by the way, again, if you haven't seen it, I did get this. I'm going to just show it. Why not? I did get that. 60 bucks. Definitely worth it. Um, and I have actually finished watching all of them, which uh, is pretty good. Yeah, so I, I finished watching every single pay-per-view within, what, a week and a half, which is pretty cool. So the next event I'm going to be talking about is the AWF Wrestle Dream, uh, which happened at St. Mary's, um, featuring Tommy Dreamer. And I was only there to see Tommy Dreamer. I've been watching uh, ECW since 2007, December 2007, uh, which was you know pretty cool back then, and still love it to this day. Um... <laughs> I mean, I, to tell the truth, overall, it was a great event. I enjoyed it. I think it's the most enjoyable AWF event I've ever been to, mostly because of Tommy Dreamer, uh, but, you know, still pretty cool. Uh, so, met up with Tracy, Jaden, and Scott again. Uh, Jaden came in a later time. Uh, we saw Tommy Dreamer making his way down at the table. Uh, we were going to go sit, uh, we were actually planning to sit uh, somewhere. Uh, a bit, not where we were sitting at the time where I took the videos, but a bit in the middle between the ropes. Um, not near the merch stand, near the wall. So like two hour right. Uh, but uh, we all wanted to meet Tommy Dreamer, get in line for that. And uh, yeah, so our seats were taken. I mean, we didn't reserve it. It's only 20, 20 bucks. Also, I forgot, that's a Booker T one ticket. Just thought I'd let you know. Anyway. I brought three, bought three, brought, bought, whatever you want to call it, um, three items with me. Uh, two of them I got signed the first time I met him. First one I got signed was ECW, see there, uh, Unreleased Volume 2. And I know I've got Volume 1, sorry, Volume 1, but I thought this one would be a bit better because he's uh, hosting it. So I thought it'd be, you know, logical. He's hosting it, why not? It's normally, if I get anyone, D if I get a DVD slip signed, it's normally someone on the cover. But uh, speaking of someone on the cover, I managed to get the second DVD slip signed. Tommy Dreamer on it, on the uh, 2010 TNA Hardcore Justice. This is the Australian version of it. So I managed to get that. So, yeah. And then I saw, I, I think... For for one wrestler, there was a lot of merchandise there. I, I think I haven't seen so much merchandise. I mean, apart from WWE, but in terms of one wrestler, an American wrestler for that fact, he had loads of merchandise. I mean, he had like four DVDs. One of them was a Blu-ray. All of them were hard, ha um, House of Hardcore. Um, then he had like, I'm pretty sure, maybe five different T-shirts of House of Hardcore, and then he had like, I'm guessing seven, eight by tens, like literally, I'm not making this stuff up, this was a lot, I think he was planning to literally make a, a shitload of money, literally, uh, but speaking of the uh, uh, eight by tens, or promos, or whatever you want to call them, one stood out uh, from the rest, and I don't know why, uh, I think uh, one of the DVD, uh, Covers uh, would be the reason, but it is the Hardcore Justice uh, 2010, and he signed it. He signed to Damien, and as you can see, there's a D and there's a little squiggle. So, yeah, and then of course Tommy Dreamer right there. Now, the only bit I'm upset with is that Tommy Dreamer obviously came what a year after we met Mick Foley. So if Mick Foley had showed up either later this year or if 
Tommy Dreamer like came to Australia months before Mick Foley, this would have been awesome to get signed by Mick Foley. So if Foley ever does come back, trust me, this is one of the pieces of the collection that I'll be getting signed. Trust me. Uh, and yeah, I don't know why I got it. I think I just thought it would be cool. And I know there were a few really good ones. I know my brother's got one where he's doing a dive, an elbow dive, um, which looked pretty cool. Uh, and then I know, I know Tracy got one which uh, was pre-signed by Beulah McGillicuddy. And I didn't see it until, uh, I sh well, until she showed me. Uh, so, which meant I already had bought this, uh, but I'm not a big Bueller fan or anything, but, you know, meh, it is what it is, but I really wanted to get merchandise, like, the DVD sold out, and I really wanted to get t-shirts, but they didn't have the size, it was like the, uh, Mick Foley t-shirt thing, where I waited till later on, and if they have any, I'll buy it, but, yeah, I, I went on the House of Hardcore to see if they have DVDs, of course they do, um, which I'm going to be getting, uh, not now, hopefully sometime in the future, and then uh, I'm going to get some t-shirts, they don't have a lot though, but anyway, show was great, the main event, which was a hardcore match, uh, very quick, not a very long match though, but uh, still good, you obviously saw the ending, he lost uh, and did a, you know, cut a promo, um, with uh, TNT, put him through a table, and uh, yeah, was great, lined up again to take photos, because he didn't take photos the first time around, so we had to, everyone had to line up again, we didn't pay for it, that's the great thing as well, is that being an Australian, is that it, wrestling isn't big in, in Australia than it is in America, because if you go to something like WrestleCon, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg, figuratively, it's just not not literally, figuratively, just saying, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get at least one autograph and one photo. Over here, not so much, basically for free, no matter how many items you have. Um, so anyway, I got, um, uh, yeah, so I got this one item signed, and this was the uh, ECW Kids Belt, it was released back in, what, 2009 or so, I got it signed, I thought, eh, why not? I wish I did get the commemorative belt for this. So, there you go. I thought, why not? I did the same with uh, Bobby Roode. I got him to sign the TNA tag belts, which was a kid's toy one. Um, but before he signed it, I put it on the table so we can take a photo. And he actually, what he did was, he picked up the belt and he put it on my shoulder. And he pointed to it and I pointed to it. And then the photo was pretty cool. And then, uh, I was about to ask him something. This was the highlight of my night. I was about to ask him to take if we could take another photo. But then, he tells me to shut up. He goes, I'm talking. Because I did cut him off. For, yeah, so, I cut him off. Tells me to shut up, which was pretty cool. And then, uh, he told me something about, I uh, told everyone that he was the very first person to win a championship, not RVD. Uh... Yeah, I think RVD was going around saying he was the very first ECW champion, uh, which, yeah, I'm not too big on the history of uh, ECW, and I thought that was pretty cool to hear, and then he tells me, okay, now you tell me to shut up, what do you want to say? Again, pretty cool, and I asked him if he could just do the uh, Raven pose, take another photo with the Raven pose, and he pushes me, going, no, it's not the Raven pose, it's the Dreamer pose, I'm like, okay, fine, the Dreamer pose. And then he says to me, well, it's actually the Jesus Christ pose, but all right. And we take the photo. I'll show you the photos at the end uh, with the wrestlers, including the Booker T one. Um, so we take the photo and yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I think it was the most uh, interactive and the best interactive uh, interaction, I should say, with a wrestler anytime. I mean, I've been going to signings for what, five years now? And I think that one couple of minutes, not the fact that he told me to shut up or he pushed me, uh, just the fact that we chatted. And, and yeah, I think that's the most interaction I've ever had. That and I think um, The Shield. The Shield, I'd say the second best. But I think this um, Tommy Dreamer would take uh, the first place spot. But some. Um, yeah, so anyway, photo time. It's uh, Here's the Booker T photo. Here's the uh, Tommy Dreamer, the first one. 
And here is the second one with the uh, raven pose. And, and to tell the truth as well, that was the photo that I wanted. I, I never have... Uh, there, there's, I've been, like I said, I've been to signing so many times. There was never a moment where I want to go, okay, I want to take this one pose with that wrestler. This was the very first time that I wanted a, a certain pose with the wrestler. And literally that's my favorite photo because of that, because how awesome that shot is. But anyway, I mean, you guys know what I got. Booker T's done. Tommy Dream is done. The tour's coming up, and I want to do a couple of videos uh, before then. I know I've got a couple of other uh, recaps to do, and uh, I know I've just, I'm uploading next week uh, the room tour, so you'll finally get to see the full room tour for, uh, uh, well, for my room, and then I'm going to do a couple of other videos between now and the tour, just uh, maybe discussion videos and, and yeah, whatnot, but anyway... Uh, thank yous again for watching the recap. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, highlights video and the day in life video of Tommy Dreamer and Booker T. Uh, but uh, that's it. See you.